Meta releases Llama 3.2, the first multimodal model in Llama model family. It got released in four different versions, 1 billion parameter model, 3 billion parameter model, they run on device, and 90 billion parameter model, and 11 billion parameter model. These are multimodal, which means it can take text and image input. So on device, large language models are going to be the future, which means it's going to run locally on your computer or any edge devices like phones, and it can process requests quickly and all your data remains private. And considering these models are free to use, it's going to revolutionize AI. Llama 3.1, 1 billion and 3 billion parameter model, the context length is 128,000 tokens, which means you are able to ingest a large amount of data and then ask questions based on that. You can see that Llama 3.2, 11 billion and 90 billion are in par with Cloud 3 Haiku and GPT-40 Mini, the closed source models. So the open source models are competing with closed source models and it's not far that it can overtake these closed source models. In regards to 1 billion and 3 billion parameter model, they are better than Gemma 2, 2 billion parameter model and Phi 3.5 mini model on various benchmarks. Three things to focus on here. One is on device, multimodal and Llama stack. First considering on device, the 1 billion and 3 billion. Let's see an example here. So now if you got like a list of messages, you can just copy all the text and then paste it in the Llama app, which can automatically summarize it for you. And this data never leaves your device. You can see it's getting summarized and then it goes to the action points based on the conversation. Then now it can automatically do function calling and then add a calendar event directly from your device. Everything is automated and you can see all the action points and the calendar added to your list. This is super cool. Next, in regards to multimodal, when you add an image, it can automatically analyze the image and tell you what is in that image. Also, it is able to detect the items in the image and we are able to choose those items and ask for alternative suggestions. And furthermore, we can use RAG process to retrieve relevant information and get some ideas from there. Thirdly, in regards to Llama stack, it's easy for any developers to automatically include Llama in their own application. This includes all the inference, APIs, and as you can see here, it can automatically generate the response completely on device, and easily you can create an application with this. I'm going to take you through the architecture on how this 1 billion and 3 billion model got created, and how you can directly use it on your device right now, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So how this 1 billion and 3 billion model got created? It's using the process called pruning and distillation. The previous Llama 3.1 got pruned and distilled by NVIDIA. I've already covered in detail how the pruning and distilling happens. And for the Llama 3.1, NVIDIA created this Minitron 4 billion using the process called pruning and distillation. It is the process by which you remove layers in a large language model to decrease its size, that is pruning. So generally, a large language model consists of multiple layers, let's say 32 layers in regards to Llama 3.1, and not all layers are important. So just choosing only the high priority layers and then trimming it down after ranking it. So if you remove layers, then that is called pruning. So then it's sent to distillation process. Distillation is a process by which you have a teacher large language model who is going to pass the knowledge to the student model. So you just tell what specific topic the student model need to get trained. So the teacher model will send relevant information or the knowledge to the student model to train that. So this process is called distillation. So that's what we see here in 1 billion and 3 billion pruning and distillation process. First, we got the 8 billion parameter model and 70 billion parameter model got created. That is Llama 3.1. So using those models, you prune those layers, remove those layers with the logic data. Then you create Llama 3.2, 1 billion and 3 billion parameter model. Then after that, we need to distill the process. So we got the synthetic data prompts and the Llama 3.1, billion parameter instruct. So this is the previous version. From that, you create synthetic data. So this is the teacher model. So as a teacher, you're going to teach the student. So it automatically generates the data, synthetic data. And using that data, we are going to train this 
Llama 3.2 1Billion and 3Billion parameter model to get this Llama 3.2 1B3B instruct. This process is called pruning and distillation. This you can see clearly got explained in the meta blog post, which I've linked that in the description below. In regards to the architecture for vision models, such as 11 billion parameter model and 90 billion parameter model, generally for a multimodal model, when you pass text and image, the text will be directly fed to LLM and then you got the image that will be converted using an adapter and then fed to a large language model. So in this case, we are using only text and image because Llama 3.2 doesn't support audio and video yet. It is clearly explained here. To add image input support, we trained set of adapter weights that integrate pre-trained image encoder, that's what we saw in the image, into the pre-trained language model. So pre-trained image encoder into the pre-trained language model. So after training, it went through supervised fine tuning, rejection sampling, direct preference optimization. They created synthetic data from Llama 3.1 model to provide high quality fine tuning data. There is one more thing which I want to show you is the Llama guard. So whenever a user add an input, the Llama guard is able to analyze the input and able to stop the response if it's not really good. This is input safeguard based on user's input. Similarly, you got output safeguard. When the user asks a question, it's passed to Llama guard and instead of just canceling the response, it's able to generate a response, but in a more ethical way. You can try this model in various different platforms such as Fireworks, Google Cloud, Grok, Hugging Face and much more. You have all these models such as the 90B, 3B, 1B and 11B available in Grok which you can try now. Let's test with this 1 billion preview. Give me a daily meal plan for me today and it's super fast and you can see the number of tokens per second is 2000 plus and it generated the breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch and much more. I'll be covering complete tests in regards to image and also text in a completely separate video. So do subscribe. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.